Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of our 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well, and today we are going to go to Concord and help out the Minutemen. But before we do, let's go ahead and go into our Pip-Boy. I built up Sanctuary just a little bit, uh, at least until I ran out of some resources. Uh, there is a way to kind of glitch in more resources, um, but that's up to you. Uh, there's a bunch of videos out there that can show you, at least for the uh, PlayStation and Xbox versions. So let's go ahead and go into our Pip-Boy. We have a, uh, about six levels. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put two levels into Charisma, one into Perception. We're going to go down to Locksmith. We're going to put two into Locksmith and then one into Hacker. We should get a level fairly soon, hopefully at least. Um, and we'll put it into Gunslinger because we do want to do more damage with our pistols and our rifles so any non-automatic rifle it'll um help you do more damage all right now that that's all said and done let's go ahead and start making our way to concord i have a few ideas for this settlement also there's videos on how to um place certain items that um, you may want to be in a different position, but they'll try to keep snapping into place. Tons of videos out there on YouTube. Uh, I probably won't go over it just because it's kind of like, uh, why? Why bother? You know, there, there's a ton of other YouTube videos. I'd be beating a dead horse. We have a raider. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Huh? Um, excuse me, stop moving so I can kill you. Really? I was aimed right on your face. Excuse me, where'd you go? <laughs> really? <laughs> Jeez. That is more difficult than it needed to be. Um, let's head back over here. I missed a duffel bag. I want to get this duffel bag over here. Alright, uh, yeah, we'll grab the revolver. Also, I want to equip my Molotov cocktails. That way, if we need to use them at any point in time, we can. And now we get dog meat. The best dog in the wasteland. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy. Okay, then. Let's stick together. That will be our first companion. Pick up this stim pack. Some rat away. Also, you can make this into a settlement. Let's turn off this radio real quick. Um, you can turn this into a settlement if you click on the workshop bench over here. Yes, dog meat, you found something. That's okay, bud. <laughs> and then if you want, you can loot all this stuff in here as well. Um, again, not going to do it. We're just coming in here for the cap stash. There's a terminal for everybody to read if they want to. Let's just go ahead and go out this door. And we're going to come around... And go into this mole rat den right down here. All right, let's go ahead and be very sneaky. Got him. Whew. Be careful, <laughs> that does explode. So does this. Uh, these are explosive canisters. So don't blow yourself up. 
we come over here, we can get a fusion core. That'll come in handy later. Um, I mean, we can still find other uh, fusion cores, but... Oh my god, I'm stupid. That's not what I'm talking about. We can find another fusion core where we're going, so we don't need that one per se, but it's good to have it now. You can, again, loot a ton of stuff in here. There is a ton of loot in here. Also, these uh, brain fungus can be looted as well. You can make them into different kins and all kinds of stuff. I believe we can make um, some food recipes out of it as well. Glowing mole, mole rat, be careful. A little bit of a tougher enemy, not much tougher. You can also pick up the glowing fungus as well. For now, let's go ahead and pick the lock on the safe. And God. yes, I did <laughs> get some more lock picks. Oh man. But we'll we'll find even more when we go to Concord. There's a there's a good source of lock picks over there. Let's go ahead and exit the mole rat den. All right, let's go back up to the Red Rocket truck stop or whatever it is. I think it's a truck stop. Maybe it's just a gas station. Whatever. Does it matter? No. No, it does not. And then we'll come out to the road. We want to be careful. Not really too careful because it's just blood bugs. Um, but we're going to crouch. And if you look off into the distance, there's some blood bugs munching on a dead Brahmin. So, let's get that one. There we go. And then I want to equip my 10 millimeter pistol, which I did upgrade my 10 millimeter pistol and my pipe pistol. So be sure to do that as well. Uh, it's just gonna help you in the long run. Spit, oh man, dog meat running in front of me. Um, especially here in just a minute. We don't need to crouch anymore. Is there anything in this mailbox? Nope. Don't forget to check your mailboxes. Um, you can find stuff every now and then. Right here's another cap stash. Open this up. Nuka-Cola Quantum, which is pretty good. Um, you definitely want to use Nuka-Cola Quantums. Um, I probably won't, um, just because I don't really ever use any kind of... Uh, food or anything like that let's grab some bobby pins some more and then let's uh pick the lock on this safe here nice and i say like i don't use food items i don't use food items unless it's absolutely necessary to use them i don't know i, I that's just the way that i like to play the game also if you took any damage and you want to rest you can always rest right there or if you're playing on survival and you need to save, there's a mattress to rest on. Let's go ahead and start making our way downtown. Walk in fast. Okay, I'll stop. Okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> oh, good loady, Miss Wody. Okay, so we need to go help Preston Garvey. But before we do, I want to loot a few things. Jesus, you got jukes for days, motherfucker. Damn, he was quick. Uh, let's go ahead and go in here first. And then we'll go help Preston. And we're not going to go into the Museum of Freedom right away either let's uh pick the lock on the safe yes right. nice got a chess piece too let's put that on right away i want to find some road leathers um the road leathers for those of you that are big mad max fans uh, it is kind of a nod to Mad Max. Not kind of a, a nod. It is a nod to Mad Max. And that stems all the way from uh, Fallout uh, 1 and 2. 
and so on. I'm not going to pick up the uh, Raider armor. I just don't like the look of it. And um, I'm only going to pick up leather armor, combat armor, um, road leathers whenever I can find them, and uh, weapons. Because with... Um, damn, you're tough, aren't you? Fuck off, bud. Um, with weapons, when you're building your workshop and you have, like, a ton of weapons, you can drop them on the ground because uh, your settlement will eventually, like, you can't build anymore. There's too much stuff, you know? But if you drop a bunch of weapons on the uh, ground and then pick them up when you're in the settlement building mode, it will slowly decrease the... Um, Rate at which you can hey, up here, build stuff. On the balcony. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please. Okay, Preston. You're just going to have to wait a little bit, though, bud. Uh, we do have the road leathers now, though. So let's uh, put on some stuff here. Oh, wow. We got a full suit of... Uh, Ooh, and we got a level. Nice. All right. Well, let's put our level in here real quick. We want to put it in to Gunslinger. All right. Um, and what I was saying before Preston rudely interrupted me is if you drop all your weapons on the ground in your settlement, you can't build anymore because your limit has uh, maxed out. Just drop them on the floor, go into your settlement building uh, menu, and then pick them all up, and it'll slowly decrease that uh, meter for you. So that is kind of like the quick version. All right, there's nothing else over here, by the way. You can, if you really, really want to uh, continue looting. Uh, grab this pipe pistol, by the way. You can go in here. There's some decent loot in there. It's not the best, but there, there's some good loot in there. Um, but mostly what we want to do is grab this cap stash, um, whatever's in here, and then we're going to go down into the Conquered Civic Access. So let's crouch. And we want to be careful. We have a Mirelurk in here. This is our first uh, Mirelurk which look vastly different compared to Fallout 3. I, I I don't mind the change. I just don't know why they changed uh, the look of my alert so vastly. All right. Let's try to get a face shot here. There we go. Perfect. Also, if you press circle um, when you're in VATS and it's doing the slow-mo uh, and you're like, oh man, the kill animation is taking too long, just press circle and it'll cancel it out. All right, let's pick up taboo tattoos. Hell yeah. And then we can loot whatever's in here. And also, if you took damage or whatnot, you can sleep on that bed. Um, grab all this stuff. Oh, let's grab an aluminum can. Aluminum is kind of hard to find, so I, I try to pick that up when I can. Over here, we have a dead raider. Some jet. What we want to do is hop on the cinder block and then kind of jump to the side and we'll get up here. All right fell down I'm stupid um, and jump to the side but there's a ton of jet and medics and cap stash um, day tripper so you want to pick that stuff up now let's go back up to the top here and uh, there's nothing really over here besides a med box Oh, you know what? I want to switch back to my pipe pistol. I really don't want to use my 10 millimeter ammunition. Um, excuse me. Are you? Oh, that's why. 
You're a legendary. Wow. Nice. Enemies have a harder time detecting you while you're sneaking and not moving. That's actually a pretty sweet, um, <laughs> pretty sweet piece of armor. Matter of fact, let's do a quick save. Just in case anything happens, like the game crashes or something, you know? And we're going to put that on. All right. Yeah, we, we legit have everything we need. Um, also, I'm going to put some stuff into dog meat real quick. Hey. All right. So, yeah, if you're over encumbered and you want to get rid of some of your stuff and you don't want to throw it on the ground, just put it on one of your companions that's following you. Let's crouch again, and then we're going to go up top. That armor kicked in as soon as we left. That's pretty cool. I, I actually like this armor. And it's pretty awesome that we got it so early into the game. I mean, like, this is episode two, so it's like... So it's like, uh, and like, uh... I sound like a teenage girl. No offense to teenage girls, I'm just saying. <laughs> Um, yeah, nothing else. Let's go ahead and go into the Museum of Freedom. I'll see everybody in just a second. Okay, up top. You can't see me. Oh my god, what? I know I was aimed over top of them. Come on. You can still see me? Okay. Oh my god, quit moving, person. That's it. Get him all the top. There we go. Took care of that nonsense. We can't loot this stuff over here just yet. But we can pick up these bobby pins. Um, usually there's some cigarettes in there. But I guess not today. Let's go through here. No more British occupation. Back to England with you. Back to England with you. You lobster back there. Have your tea back, you chicken. Uh, <laughs> the Where things they say. Go? Oh, taxation without representation. Remember, lads. Do with my seed. Let's send these great commandos back to London, right boys. To Bastard, die. Die, fool. Alright, I like to get to the other side of this platform and then I lockpick the gate. That's it. Alright. Grab all this stuff here. You can loot all this stuff if you want as well. And then right here we're going to hack this terminal. And then we're going to lockpick the gate. So let's go ahead and do that now. Alright, now let's go ahead and lockpick the gate. Sweet. Alright, here's the other fusion core. Uh, when we were at the Red Rockets uh, gas station. I was like, oh, yeah, we need that fusion core. Well, we can get a fusion core right there, too. And it's so that we can power up the power armor um, here in just a bit. We want to go over here, by the way, not because of this stuff, but mostly because we want to get this cap stash that's right over here. Pick that up. And then we'll loot this enemy real quick. I'm telling you, man, let's just get the hell out of here. We got no reason to hang around and get shot. Stop being such a fucking pansy. We hold out for the others like we're supposed to. What are you, deaf? Somebody's out there shooting the place up. I ain't sitting around waiting to die. I swear to God, you make a move for that exit, huh? and I'll gut you myself. Hmm. 
All right, somehow they seen me. Um, I wasn't moving, but then again, um, my sneak is not leveled up that well. So it'll get better over time and we'll be a little bit more sneaky. Be a sneak a sneak a boy or girl, you know, I don't know. Whoever's watching, you know, girl, boy. I'm coming in there, and I'm gonna skin every last one of you! Come on, man. They ain't going nowhere. We got other shit to deal with. You hear that? I gotta go take a little walk. But I'll be back, and you'll be dead. Sure. Store a Molotov. Hey. Ah! <laughs> oh, I love doing that. Come on. All right, Preston's gonna want us to go over there. Uh, we're not going to because once again, we can get a cap stash, Inside. which is right over here. Uh, there's some loot over there too, if you wanna loot it, uh, that's up to you. And then we'll grab this other cap stash that's right here as well. We want as many caps as we can to start out with. If we come over here, we can loot the raider that we killed earlier and get some ammunition and whatnot. Let's go. Oh, nice. Stim pack. Didn't expect that. Uh, I think I'm going to get that assault uh, gas mask. Man, I don't know who you are, but your timing's impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Huh. Nah, Glad to help. That ain't it. Well, if that's true... We could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. Who are these people? Maybe. Just folks looking for a new home, <sighs> nope. a fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and June. That's all Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. Maybe. You really aren't from around here, are you? <sighs> nope. Ghouls are irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up and God live for it. a long time but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. Uh, They'll rip you apart just uh, as soon as look at it. you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. What makes that power armor so special? A West Tech internalized servo system, that's what. Inside that baby, super is the new normal. You'll be stronger, Tougher, resistant to rats, and get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? And I can use the minigun like a rifle? Don't see why not. It'll have a manual trigger. Just aim it at the bad guys and do the old spray and pray. Now, as for the armor, it's out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. So, what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. 
Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. All right, let's go ahead and grab the Atomic Command. Uh, this is another Bingo. Pit Boy game or uh, terminal game, whatever, either way. Let's hack this uh, terminal real quick. All right, so if you didn't unlock the gate down there, you can also unlock it right there. Not a big deal. Let's go talk to Mama Murphy here. Ma'am. Now look who dog me brought to us. He's a good dog. Smart, too. Oh, indeed. Dog mate's good of finding folks who need him. And he'll stick by you now. I saw it. You saw it? It's the chems, kid. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way for as long as I can remember. What's the sight? I can see a bit of what was and what will be, and even what is right now. And right now, I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more, please. I see. I, I see. Oh. It's, it's horrible, kid. Claws and teeth and horns. The very face of death itself. That's all I can manage. That's all. I need to rest now. And you have a job to do. And that is why you get charisma up early in the game. Let's grab our first bobblehead. This is going to be the perception bobblehead. Bingo. All right. Now we have five perception, nine charisma, and nine intelligence. Um, there's nothing really to loot over here. Um, a few junk items, but nothing important. Let's go ahead and go to the roof. All right, grab this cap stash, and then we're going to listen to this hollow tape. Personal log, United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause, EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. The co-pilot was killed on impact. The pilot died of his injuries a day later. The day after that, Flaherty and Kanawa were shot by some scared, desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so... I guess my soldiering days are done. I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. This is Mike Daly, signing out. Good luck, and God bless America, or what's left of it. All right, let's go ahead and get into this power armor here. We're gonna make our way to this minigun. Pull it out. Up here. 
Boss, we got somebody up here. Why don't you get down oh, here? You Show me that fancy gun up close. Not a lot of people can get past my boys. I'll give you that. Come on, I got places to be. Come on, this guy. You know what? You get a Molotov too. Hold up. Still waiting, asshole. <laughs> I think Preston yeah, Garvey got him. Good. I think I got something over here. We've yeah, he's taking out a lot of these guys. Nice. We want to take out Grizzle real quick. Maybe. Okay, there we go. Grizzle, we're gonna pick up the Corvega uh, key off of. Oh, step back. Definitely don't want to be next to a car when it explodes. It's like a mini nuclear bomb going off uh, because the people in the Fallout world uh, build their cars um, with nuclear fusion stuff. So they have a big ol' explosion. We're probably be, yep, there he is. There's the death claw that Mama Murphy was talking about. Fucking mini gun! All right, we're gonna turn around and we're just gonna run back. Uh, we don't wanna be up close and personal with this fucking death claw. <laughs> it will tear our face off and be like, I have enough story. It'll fucking wear our face for a hat. That's what it'll do. Come here. Just kind of stay close to the to the um, wall. It may hit you once or twice, but it'll keep it from running off into the distance. Ugh, of course, I gotta reload, huh? Just keep backing up. There we go. Dead death claw. We'll loot the death claw and. Finish off these raiders. We're gonna loot all the raiders as well. Um, let's see. Yeah, pipe pistol there. I wouldn't be too worried about if they shoot you or not. You're not gonna take much damage, if any. Well, no, you'll take damage. <laughs> you'll still take damage, but you won't take as much. Where the hell is... Oh my god. You're way back there. This guy's an idiot. This guy's as dumb as me. There we go. Take him out. Some road leathers. Um, nope. Where's Grizzle at? We gotta find Grizzle real quick. He's important. Where the hell did he die? I thought he died right here. Right? Pretty sure. It says Raider. Raider scum. I'm pretty sure I killed Grizzle right over here, but maybe not. If not, whatever, it's not the end of the world. Hell, he could have fell through the world for all we know. <laughs> Just saying. It happens. It definitely happens. Especially in Fallout. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened to Grizzle, but I, I was pretty sure that I killed him somewhere over here. But, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't see his fucking body. Oh well. What the hell was that? What the fuck just happened? Okay. <laughs> Let's just go back into the Museum of Freedom and continue on our way here. Even though I'm still like, where's Grizzle? Where is he? Take it easy, mama. 
You okay? I'm fine, Preston. Quit fussing. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. The feeling's mutual, Preston. You can never have too many friends. Not in the Commonwealth. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did. And we owe you our lives. So here. Yeah, it ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. I didn't do it for money. Hey, sorry. I'm used to everyone being in it only for themselves. You know, you remind me of my friends. The other Minutemen. The ones who gave their lives for something bigger than themselves. You should come with us to Sanctuary. We could use the help. What would I need to do? You'd need to stay strong like you've been. Cause there's more to your destiny. I've seen it. And I know your pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. I knew it. Please tell me where he is. I need to find my son. I can't see him. Not clearly. But I feel his life force. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can hardly oh, hold turn on, hold on. Than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June, it's time to go. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick save real quick because I've been having issues with the game crashing going through this door. All right. Oh, let's pray the game doesn't crash the help this time. you need is in Diamond City, John. Haha, <laughs> we made it without the game crashing. Fucking awesome. The price we paid to get this far. Grizzle? No. I'll take point. <laughs> I'm literally gonna be looking for Grizzle this whole time. Uh okay, so he might have glitched out and like fell through the world or whatever. Um, which really sucks. But for everybody else, find the raider Grizzle and uh, loot his body. You'll get the Corvega uh, key. Uh, it will help you in the long run. I promise. Now we're just gonna make our way back to Sanctuary real quick. Um, shouldn't take us too long. We'll end up putting our power armor away and then we're gonna talk to Preston, hopefully. Um, and then we'll cut the street. Or, I keep saying stream. I apologize. Um, I do stream and <laughs> this is not me trying to shout out my, uh, my stream, but I guess since I keep saying it, you can, uh, go follow me at Mr. John Wayne 88 at twitch.tv. If you'd like to check out my stream, I stream a little bit of everything from Bloodborne to Dark Souls to uh, Fallout, to Nino Cooney, you name it. 
Um, but yeah, hopefully I will stop saying cut stream and start saying cut the video. So again, I apologize for the unofficial official shout out for Twitch. Hopefully these people get here sooner than later. We might have to actually rest in a bed. Oh man, this power armor is so slow, by the way. I'm not a big fan of the power armor. I like the power armor in Fallout uh, 3 and in New Vegas, but eh, it, it feels very clunky and heavy, which I, I suppose it should be, um, if I'm being honest. But in Fallout 4, it just it does not feel very comfortable to me. I don't like wearing it. And then if you go ahead and go to craft, it'll set your power armor to where you want it. So it'll sit right there. I probably will never use the power armor again. <laughs> Just saying. Let's go ahead and rest real quick. I'll see everybody in just a second. All right, we feel re well rested. Let's go ahead and talk to Preston if we could. I think he's down here. Yeah, he's down here. We're going to talk to Preston, and then I guess we'll go to the front of Sanctuary and cut this video. Excuse me. I'm glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? Yeah. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... I lived here over 200 years ago. I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. I'm sorry. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. They're still hoping there are Miniman out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? I'd be glad to help. That's fantastic. The men and men could use more people like you. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. <laughs> I love the stare off we had there for a few minutes. Uh, I, I tell you what, I tell you what. <laughs> Fallout has some glitches. All right, let's go ahead and end the video here. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And I would like to tell everybody before we leave, thank you very much for stopping by. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy the channel, hit that subscribe button. But like always, everybody, I hope you have a good morning a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.